clearly, uh, homelessness is a crisis in our city right now, as uh, many of the speakers tonight uh, have spoken about. Uh, for a multitude of reasons, people are not able to acquire housing that meets their needs, and the prospect of finding affordable housing is even more dire right now. <clears throat> for the most recent data I could find, Tennessee rates in Victoria sit at just below 1%, while the price of renting and buying a home in Victoria continue, continues to rise to unprecedented levels. However, there is another issue that affects a diverse cross-section of people looking for housing, the ability to bring their family members with them who happen to be pets. Currently, 20% of animals surrendered to the BCSPCA are due to housing-related reasons. So that's roughly an estimated 1,500 animals surrendered because people could not take their pets with them uh, when transitioning to a new home. Research indicates that approximately 80% of BC citizens support legislation that would allow animal caretakers to have the right to keep their pets in their home. Uh, there is also evidence that tenants who have pets in pet-friendly housing stay for more than double the length of time than in housing which does not allow pets. Also, the idea that pets are more likely to damage rental units uh, also appears to be unfounded as there is no evidence to support that more damage is caused by renters with pets than without. Ontario has legislation in place uh, for the last 20 years that prohibits landlords from discriminating against renters based on them having pets. There are reasonable exceptions to this, of course, if there's a concern of severe allergy, if there's a safety concern related to the animal in question, and if the animal is causing excessive noise or damage to the unit. Pets OK BC is an organization I am working with uh, to try and change the current discriminatory legislation that puts unnecessary barriers in place to stop people from getting affordable housing because they have cherished pets. It doesn't matter if you are someone who's experiencing homelessness, a student or a professional. If you have to leave a loved one behind because they are a non-human animal, it affects you deeply and many people will understandably forego improving their housing situation because they have not because they will not leave their pet behind. It is also unfair to the animal in question. Imagine having a good home, a loving home, knowing the people you wake up with every day and trust to treat you with respect, loving kindness, are there and treat you like family. Then one day you become a barrier to housing for unfounded reasons and are suddenly disposable. Waking up not with those you loved and trusted, but in a cage with so many others who have no place to call home. Non-human animals are already the most vulnerable individuals in our society, but they are also some of the best individuals in it as well. Enhancing the ability for people to not have to compromise the relationships of care for these individuals is essential if we are to call ourselves a compassionate society, and this is surely a small step in a long road of changes we need. That is why I am calling you, Victoria Mayor and Council, to take what action you can on this issue. Uh, recognizing, of course, that while it may be out of your power to change this legislation directly, uh, you can advocate on behalf of the many citizens and pets affected by this discrimination. If you would write a letter of support for such changes to the current Residential Tenancy Act to our Minister of Housing and Social Development, Rich Coleman, uh, you could be the first city to do so in BC and would help inspire other cities to take up the same effort to keep families together with their loved ones, whether they're animal or not. Thank you. Thank you very much.